All right, let's actually start out with getting and installing Go in our system. The process of installing Go is pretty straightforward. I'm working within Debian Linux, hence I will show you how to install it on a Linux system. The installation process on Windows is pretty similar. So the first thing that you want to do is navigate to Go's official website. It is located under go.dev. On the website, you will see a download button. Let's click that button. This will give you links to the most recent Go version. We want to install Go on a 64-bit Debian Linux system. Hence, I'll take the AMD64 Linux version of Go. Do a right-click and copy the link to the correct tar.gz file. Great, now we have the link to the most current Go version. Let's open our terminal and install Go on our machine. I have a download folder, which I'm going to CD into. Then I'm going to use the wget utility to download that file. So Go is now downloading onto our machine. Next, I would like to extract that file using the tar utility. However, I would like to untar it into the following location. The forward slash user, forward slash local. Let's first make sure that we don't have an existing Go installation inside that folder. And then let's untar that file into that location. So make sure to use the sudo utility since we will move that into a system location so everyone on a computer can use Go. In the end, I'll also remove the tar file from the machine. So let's start with removing a Go folder that might exist already. So we're going to say sudo rm dash rf forward slash user local go. So this will remove the Go folder that might exist or not on your machine. So I'm going to put in my password here. All right. The next step is extracting that tar file. sudo tar dash c, the location where you want to untar it into. So it's going to be user local. You want to extract the file. So xzf, oh, sorry, it's a dash xzf. And then the path to the file. So it's in our current folder. We're in a downloads folder. And we're going to use the name of go.1.21.5linux amd 64 tar.gz. If we now check the content of our user local folder, we will find a Go folder inside of it. Pretty much the only thing left to do now is adding the bin folder of Go into our path. Just open the .profile file inside your personal folder with your favorite text editor. I'm going to use NeoVim, but you can use whatever you want. So do this once for the Go folder inside user local Go and a prospective Go folder inside your home directory that might get created for you automatically when you load packages. So I've already done that on my machine. And as you can see on line 30, I'm adding user local Go bin to my path. And I'm doing the same for my home folder Go bin. Finally, let's test whether everything works by restarting our terminal and testing the go command line utility. I'm going to leave this. Restart the terminal. So I'm going to use go version. And if this prints the correct go version onto your screen, congratulations, you've successfully installed go on your machine. 